this is the first leg of uh, the ISAF World Cup for 2011 and uh, we've got something like 450, nearly 500 competitors from 43 countries. We've chosen Melbourne and Sandringham because it's the best sailing and fairest water in, the, in, in Australia really and it's snowing elsewhere in the world so we've got an audience and a participative group that's really first, second to none. Well, first of all, we've got fabulous support from the Victorian Government and our sponsors. Beyond that, and the most important element of this event, is the, is the support of our volunteers. There's over 150 volunteers involved in this project. And they're absolutely committed sailing fanatics, doing probably the best race management in the world. We've got community engagement, we're teaching kids to sail during this process, and we're mixing them with Olympians. Sailors from Melbourne are sailing with guys with gold medals around their necks. A unique experience that you can't do in any other sport in the world. It uh, was not an easy race with these wavy conditions and really gusty with the black clouds coming through. Uh, we were pretty lucky on the first upwind, we got a huge right shift and we were above the fleet in a perfect uh, position to control the Kiwis. And from there on we actually only saved the race, we just tried not to capsize and finish within the fleet. Uh, we won the Miami World Cup two years ago and this is our second and we are really pleased with the performance. Yeah, it's been a great event, uh, fantastic conditions, had a bit of a range of everything and you know, really good conditions for the metal race, good strong breeze, big waves, it's what we all want. Uh, very close racing for us Brits in the Finn class, but uh, for me getting back into it, it's uh, been a great event and good way to end this year and as you say, a good way to start the World Cup Series. There's no way we're going to let him win it easily. So, you know, on that first downwind, we got the accelerator going and you know, got our own set of waves and made the most of it. And, you know, it was, it was just really nice to be able to, I suppose, show that little bit of edge when we needed to and, and bring it back through. And we made it hard on ourselves a couple of days ago, but, uh, you know, we fought ourselves back into it yesterday. And then obviously it was who beat who today. And it was great to be able to do it and great to be able to come from behind to show, yeah. to show that.
really kind of uh, mixed week with the conditions. You know, we had um, had some some pretty good breeze, sort of nearly uh, nearly up to 20 knots, and then you know some really light days. And, and to uh, to come out on top at the end of uh, end of that really shows that I'm sort of sailing consistently in, in the majority of conditions, which is which is really pleasing. Oh, she's really light, like I think 10 kilos less than everybody, and we had less, uh, uh, really less wind condition than expected, so I think that was uh, her advantage. In strong wind, perhaps she would have been something different. Yeah, it was a very tight top finish. Um, first and second had a very good battle towards the end of the event, and uh, to, for them, it ideally suited them. They were very like they enjoyed the light conditions, the pumping, and uh, they were able to get ahead of the fleet in most occasions of the uh, racing. So yeah, it was it was tough to catch them. <laughs>